Bitcoinbusiness.com. Today we're talking about M Summer. On to the tutorial! Ah! <laughs> you scratched the crap out of me. Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we are looking at M Summer for MotionVFX. Once you have downloaded M Summer, you can locate it over in your titles section as well as your transitions. M Summer does come with 10 transitions. If you take your cursor, you can scrub over those to just quickly get a real-time preview of how some of these may look on your footage. And then over in your title section, we have multiple different categories here. So we have film mats, which again, if you scrub over, you can get a real-time preview of how some of these will affect your footage. We have looks, seven of those. That one is really fun, almost like a projector style look. And then we've got some different blurs, different effects, kind of colors, uh, softens things up a good bit. Then we come down to our sun flares category. We have 21 of these. And as you scrub over, you can see how some of these sun flares can look over your footage. Really, really pretty. And then finally, we have 16 typography presets for different purposes, but all of these have a really good, clean look. Definitely fits the vibe of summer. This one is a lot of fun right here, number 11. So really quickly, this is the timeline for our intro, just so you can see how this looks. We have different typography. We've got sun flares. We have looks going on. We've got some transitions here going into me being a silly, silly goose and sticking out of the back window of a car, celebrating that it's summer. We went and got a snow cone from my favorite place that's actually called Summer Snow. And they are open now because it is summer currently where we live. And there you have it. That is our intro. We did use a little bit of 360 footage just because it was fun. I threw it on the boosted board there. And then we have our ending point where the dog really did chase me and really did scratch me, but it was all worth it. And it wasn't that bad of a scratch. He's just being silly. All right, here we go. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Here we are on our first clip where I'm just kind of hanging out of the window like a silly goose. Uh, let's start from top to bottom. So we've got different film mats. So I'm just going to click and drag to apply. These are working as adjustment layers. So there's film mat number five. I'm going to adjust that timing. Here in our canvas, you can see we have a global kind of master control for position, scale, and rotation. And then we have a height and a width control for our borders there. Over in our inspector, we have animations in and out. So you can see here that there is a bit of an animation in and then an animation out. We also have in and out jitter, flicker strength, then we have content position rotation scale, which is doing the same thing as our master on screen control there. We have a footage mode for background footage, drop zone. If you want to place maybe an image or something, you can do an empty frame or you can do a solid color. So let's say solid color and you wanted to maybe put some text or something over it. You can do so there. Let's go back to background footage. We have footage saturation, brightness, etc. So if you wanted to do some quick color adjustments, you can do so. And then we also have X offset and Y offset. So notice my head is maybe getting cut off a bit. We can use our Y offset and then we are able to just bring that down a little bit so that that framing works. We also have footage scale and opacity and then we have our drop zone parameters here. We have a background, so if we wanted to just maybe do some sort of a crazy background going on with the same footage, we can do so here. 
and then we have our edges fading that we can toggle on and off i like the fading going on and then shadow if we were to have no background going on and something beneath we can have a shadow there now we also have our looks over in our title section so we can just scrub over these really quickly i really love the look of look number one so you can see here that that look number one is just giving a really cool kind of a projector style now notice that these do work as layer based so if you look above you can see a bit of blooming going on on the outside of the edges of our mask now depending on the look you want you might like that or you may want to take your look adjustment layer there and drag it beneath and now you can see that that bloom and such is going to be contained within the border of the mask of film mat number five so just keep that in mind as you are working with these that they are going to be layer based over in our inspector for this one we do have a prism that we can turn up and down so you see that kind of prism chromatic aberration thing happening we have the angle and the mix we have overdrive, which is going to give us that really strong blooming effect, and we can make adjustments here as well. And then we have noise, which is definitely something that gives that vibe of some uh, sort of a projector look. Coming down, we also have some really cool sun flares that you can scrub over and take a look at these. This one is really cool. All of them are great. But let's say that I wanted to use sun flare number three. I'm going to click and again, drag that in. And you will notice once again, it is going to be happening above our mask and you may not want that. So I'm going to drag that down beneath so that it is now contained within our mask. We have some really cool on-screen controls here for our sun flare. So take a look at that. If you just click in the center and move around, that is going to be our light position. Then we have different toggles. If we wanted to scale that footage on the Y parameter, scale it on X, we can scale it and do a global scale and rotation. You can do that with any of these so that you can place any of these corners so that you can place that. So we've got kind of some light going on back here. We've got some back here. So we could kind of put this where it's coming in, almost like it looks like it's coming in behind me. And now you can see how that is looking and affecting our footage. You can keyframe this as well, of course, if you wanted to. Over in our inspector, we have all of those same parameters as far as position, scale, and rotation. We have our light saturation and our light hue so if you wanted to change the colors of your light you can do so here or you can go down and we have more information to change our color if you would like to using the color palettes we have the additional gradient colorize if we would like to do a gradient color and then we have different on-screen controls that then appear to add that gradient so you can see there how our gradient colorization is happening so i'll toggle that on and off just so you can see those changes and your colors are beneath we're moving very quickly through this because there is a lot in these plugins specifically in the sun flares then we have our light size and intensity darkening streak intensity you can really fine tune these quite a bit if you would like to toggle on and off your glint, you do so here. And then we have different parameters in regards to exposure, tint, color, streaks, etc., And again, noise. Now let's say I'm wanting to go from this scene into the next scene, we will use our transitions. Why don't we just throw something really quickly onto our boosted board scene as far as looks and such. So we're gonna grab look number six, drag this all the way across because it is an adjustment layer. So now it's affecting all of our footage together. And maybe I want to use some typography as well. So why don't we just grab any of these? They're all going to look good. 
I can grab this summertime, which is really cool. Drag this in over top of our clip. You can see we've got on-screen controls for position, scale, and rotation, even though it's already rotating nicely for us. I can just kind of pop it in over here. We've got animations in and out, as well as animation speed in and out, and then all of our position, scale, rotation, opacity, etc. And then we've got our title circle radius. So if you wanted to make changes to the size of the radius to accommodate for longer or shorter text, that is how you do that with that radius. So let's just say that this was not summertime fest, but maybe this was skateboard festival 2023. Okay, and you can see that we need to make that title radius a bit bigger to accommodate for all of that. Then there we go. Let me go in because it is doing a little bit of fading in. I can continue to change that radius. Boom. And then we can still use our on-screen controls to do a global size, scale, etc. Continuing down, we can change the title font and the title size if we'd like here beneath our title text option. So there we go. We've got some text coming in, skateboard festival. Maybe we want to keep that over on, why don't we put it on the right side? And then we've got skateboard festival coming in and then we leave a little bit of space there for the text. We can let it animate out. And there's me being a silly goose again with the shots that we all know and love from a lot of summer travel videos there. So transitions over in our transition section. Again, if we scrub over, we can see different transitions. I really like transition number two. So we can drag that in between our two clips. And you can see how that is affecting our clips. Just kind of blurs out some flashes. And then there we are into our next scene. Over in our inspector, if we wanted to change the flip for vertical or horizontal, that's just going to be where our lights are coming in from the direction. We have our light color that we can make changes here with our color board if we would like. I think yellow fits this yellowish orange color. We have our light opacity that we can bring up and down here. We have prism and prism amount, grain, blur, and a channel mixer, as well as additional light. There we go. As we continue down, we can throw in some different sun flares if we would like just to spice these shots up. So there we go, some different sun flares. Again, we've got our on-screen controls, which are working the same way as I showed before. So you can really fine tune these and make them what you want. Over on our inspector, once again, all the position, hue, color, etc. We've got shape scale here. We've got our shape scale, mask scale. I mean, the list goes on and on with adjustable parameters. We've got our replicator and replicator size. So as we are replicating those lights throughout, we have different points, replicator scale. And then beneath we have prism and noise. All right, so these are the last, uh, shots I wanted to show you. So I've already kind of set this up to work with our film mat. We've got film mat number one. We've got film mat number three. Now you do not have to do this, but I just thought it was a fun way to use these film mats. So I'm going to just go ahead and drag this film mat number one in over top of this clip here, just so you can see how it works. It is simply just kind of throwing a mask over. It's not really doing any dissecting or anything. We have on-screen controls for the position, 
and all that I showed you earlier, but I thought it was a lot of fun to actually set up my clips so that they are just in these threes here. So it's three of uh, very similar clips, but they work well. But when you bring this film mat number one over, you can see how that is adjusting to that footage. And now it's as if we have three different shots there. So I just thought that was a really fun way to do it. Over in our inspector, I did have the animations off. And then of course, again, uh, the content position scale and rotation now if you wanted to change this to a drop zone you can do so here again it is only going to be one drop zone in this particular film mat so background footage and then having three different clips was a lot of fun anyway just a unique fun quick little way to use one of the film mats. There is a lot that you can do with this plugin to enhance your summer style videos. We can't wait to see what you do with M Summer, which is now available. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.